Spartans are descended from Hercules himself. Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Taught that death in the battlefield is the greatest glory he could achieve in his life. Spartans, the finest soldiers the world has ever known. All right, guys, so right now, just ran into Max tuning at the gym. Here he is. What's up, Max? Max tuning plus 30 pounds. <laughs> just kidding, I love you, Max. Anyone wondering who we are? We're Colossus Fitness, we're from Toronto. Fired up to be benching today. This beauty. It's snowing out. We're going heavy. Flex my sweater. Feel free to do something. If it comes through the sweater, that means <laughs> you got some games. Dude, I remember Ronnie Coleman, he'd be wearing like sweatpants and you'd see like vascularity on his quads. <laughs> It's like through like three inches of like fabric. That's Dude, fucked I up. Baby hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vitruvian Physique. Thank you for stopping by. Today I have an interesting video because this is my first ever official um, collab with another YouTube channel. This is Colossus Fitness. They are a duo channel, kind of like what POG used to be. Um, they are located right here in Toronto. Um, they've been on my videos. I've been on their videos, kind of like commenting, going back and forth. So we decided, why not? Let's, you know, crush a workout, get together, you know, grab a bite to eat. General awesome time had lifting heavy stuff. Um, so we decided to get together and do it. This is a chest and back superset workout uh, with a bit of a twist. Um, seeing that it is, this is actually filmed on January 1st. So I wanted to start the year off with a bang. And um, we will be testing one rep maxes on the bench press. Um, part of the reason is because for my programming, I need accurate one rep maxes or at least, you know, one rep max estimates. Um, that way I can kind of, you know, get together and know all of my percentages um, for my lifts and my programming in general. So I decided, you know, why not go for, you know, test my one rep max, which I haven't done literally in pretty much a year. So we decided to go crazy heavy today. I felt pretty good for a pause. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta step it up now. I don't, I don't like this. Dude, he pushed me. So Kyle has gotten 245 for one, and this is 240. Rep here. Boys. Rep here. All day, Colossus. Let's go. Easy. Push it. That was easy, yeah. Let's go. Push, push, push. Oh, you're good. Come on, three. Let's go, buddy. Grind it out. Let's go. Get it. Oh, Just finish it. Close enough. So you just saw Kyle hitting a bodyweight PR of 240 pounds for a set of two at a current bodyweight of 165 to 170 pounds. So you guys have to factor in, you know, relative strength uh, because Josh and I may be hitting three plates or more, but us weighing, you know, over 200 pounds, this isn't exactly, you know, an accurate frame of comparison. Oh, you're going up, dude. <laughs> that was nice. Thanks. Jeez. Time in, like, that's the first time I've gone over 275 in a year. You've been out for a week too, eh? That's yeah, impressive. Yeah, that's good. The cold usually packs a punch. It's like, I feel it's like bad because the cold kind of like makes me weak, but at the same time, the week off makes me well rested. Exactly. So if I actually. Double edged have, like, sword. <laughs> if I had willpower, I would take a week off when I'm actually healthy, come in, yeah. and just fucking destroy it, but I can't do it. It's just so hard. You're like, yo, I'm too, I can't do it. I feel too lazy. I can't do it. So one of the first things I noticed when collabing with these guys is just the overall heightened level of, you know, professionalism and production quality that goes into their videos. I mean, right off the bat, as we walked in the gym, they're looking for the best natural lighting. They're looking for the best angles. They're choosing which bench has, you know, the best of both worlds. Um, even equipment wise, you know, they got the DSLR with the external microphone. They got multiple tripods so they can pretty much film any video from any angle, you know, whatever they need to do. And this is definitely something which I admire and would like to emulate with my channel in the coming months. Uh, that's really a positive aspect of collabs, I think. Not just like, okay, you get more exposure and you know, you get to see each other's um, subscribers, but also just that learning aspect of it. And this is Josh hitting 340 pounds for a touch and go single. This is almost a PR, but it is a bodyweight PR because I believe last time he hit this, he weighed in at a mass of 230 pounds. So at 210 pounds, this is an achievement. 
All right, guys, since 315 felt pretty good, it's time for me to step up to the big leagues. This is 335 pounds on the bar. I'm going for um, one rep, touch and go, lifetime PR. The heaviest I have ever done is 315 pounds uh, for a paused rep. So this is the most I've ever had in the bench press. Three, two, one. Got it. Oh, you. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Up, 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 up. Yeah, buddy. That was clean too, dude. <laughs> I didn't even look heavy. You had like a yeah. slight pause right I here. I had a slight pause. The pause scared me. Good. I'm like, shit, shit, shit. I'm not used to this. I'm used that, to fluid motions. That part is death or commit right through, right? That was sick, though. Okay, this is 345 body weight PR. Big body weight PR. Last time Josh was 230, now it's 210. So, same weight, 20 pounds lighter. Don't got the best bench, got his lanky arms. Got <laughs> also with my deadlift, but not too yeah, much. Yeah, this kind of fucks you up on this. Dude, it's like I'm like, yo, get that on the roof, bro. Yeah, like, serious. See like shorter guys like <gasps> Yeah, they got like three inch range of motion. I'm like, man, like <laughs> jealous. So this is Josh's final attempt. He's going for 345 pounds, uh, tying his all-time lifetime PR, but uh, fortunately at a much lower body weight. Interestingly enough, he was actually able to hit this, you know, five minutes after uh, hitting 340 pounds, which is, you know, usually people require a lot more rest. So the fact that he was able to hit this successfully, I may add, uh, is impressive considering, you know, the very low amount of rest in between PR attempts. Uh, oh man, now he's... Yeah, maybe we should have gone for the 350. Yeah, that felt real nice. <laughs> we should have gone for the 350. I really should have. Holy. We were so conservative. We're like, you know what, man? Like, like 350. Let's do 345. Let's take it easy. No injuries. Nice and steady. And now we're like. Are gonna kill you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, boys. I'm happy. So this is my final PR attempt of the day. I decided to throw 10 pounds on and go for 345 pounds. You know, the more conservative jump would be to 340, but I decided, you know, why not? 335 felt good. Let's give 345 a go. <laughs> Watch this, Lise. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Damn it. Guys, this is insane. This is by far the closest PR attempt I've ever had in my entire life, regardless of lift, not just solely on the bench press. I mean, it's interesting. The chest was pretty much done its portion of the exercise. At this point, all I had to do uh, was lock out the triceps. I probably had an extra two to three inches left to go before I could re-rack the weights, but it just didn't happen. I mean, my butt came off the bench. Um, also, the, the bar just stopped moving. That's kind of dangerous because as I've mentioned before, if you're moving slowly, that's okay. You know, grind it out. But if the bar is stationary, that's when injuries happen because you can no longer recruit additional muscle fibers throughout the exercise. So I just said, you know, screw it, bail out. 335 is good enough for today. Finishing off, Kyle went for another set, um, just for a single, of 240 pounds. So it's interesting, even though this is just five pounds short of his lifetime PR, he was able to hit this for three reps between two sets. So in a sense, it's almost like a volume PR because you're able to do almost, you know, the required weights for, you know, uh, several reps. Uh, moving on, we did um, just, you know, regular bodybuilding stuff, you know, what's that saying? Stimulate, don't annihilate. Well, we did both. We annihilated with one rep maxes. Now it's time to stimulate, go for standard bodybuilding hypertrophy style of movements. One of the things I've noticed with these guys, uh, if you look and, you know, look back through their videos, it's interesting. I feel so many people in this industry, unfortunately, they may talk fitness and, you know, they may talk bodybuilding, but they never actually do it. That is not the case here. Both of these guys have competed in men's physique and both of these guys, I think this year are seriously considering and looking into doing, uh, you know, an actual powerlifting meet. So this is a perfect example of people who, you know, what they, what's that saying, uh, you know, they talk the talk or they walk the walk, whatever it is. So it's not just sitting in front of a camera lecturing about how to get stronger or how to get shredded or do you know all that good stuff without actually applying it. These guys, you know, they do it, they take you on their journey, whether it be bulking, cutting, shredding, doing everything. And this, you know, I appreciate and admire that because it's a very similar uh, I guess, outlook or philosophy that I have in my channel. Um, I'm always trying to, like, you know, advocate proportion. So going for aesthetics and strength and bodybuilding and powerlifting simultaneously, you know, changing it up throughout the year. And uh, it seems that they adhere to a similar philosophy. So it's definitely something that we can relate. And that's definitely something I admire, especially in fairly young guys. Both of these guys are still 
um, you know, in university and college. So, I mean, they're like, what, like early 20s? So they're making me feel old. <laughs> some uh, oregano. Thank you. Place pizza, is that what it's called? Place pizza. Yeah, all right. So they're apparently like experts. They've been here a hundred times. They're like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We get, get, get the usual. <laughs> and, uh, so it looks pretty good. It's like you can put like unlimited protein, just crazy. And it's funny because she's trying to like, you know, take it easy. She's like, oh, is that enough? We're like, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Like, I'll tell you when, I'll tell you when to stop. So this is probably a good like 50, 60, it's probably like 100 grams of protein on his. We got a ton. I felt bad after a while. I'm like, yeah, it's enough. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> but uh, bad after a while. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. So like, I kept the cheese to a minimum. High carb, high protein, some fat, but whatever. Uh, the macros, I don't know. But whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, that brings me to the end of the video. That's the end of the collab. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check out Colossus Fitness's channel if you guys are interested. They have plenty of content. I think they have 160 to 170 videos. So if you guys ever get you know bored of my lonesome little 41 or 42 videos, go check them out. They have been doing this a little bit longer than I have. I genuinely think that they're the next big YouTube fitness duo, kind of like LOA was before they broke up, or a POG was before they broke up and had that whole bitch fit between Vince G and Chris Jones up on the channel. Um, so if you guys want a fresh start, check them out. Um, I really think that 2016 is going to be a huge year for them. They've got collabs lined up with Matty Fusaro and Goku Flex in January, I believe. And they did a collab with Scott Herman not too long ago. So big things coming for them. Also, guys, you know, if you want to see me doing more collabs, let me know. I love hearing from you guys down below in the comments. And, you know, you can go spam other channels and be like, hey, hey, check out Between Physique, collab with them so that they actually know that my channel exists. Um, but guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I cannot tell you that enough. And um, I'll see you next time.